I can't. I can't openly talk about sex or productive health concerns with my parents. I wouldn't think they would listen. Basin abin nila ni enter na ko sa inaanat na butang. Kaula ora. I don't think that we can openly talk about sex and reproductive uh, reproductive health concerns with our parents. Mura ginalaf off raput sa mga students. Okay ano kam sex? Magkatawhan na dyan ang people. In recent years, the Philippines, a country known to be very conservative, has been slowly adopting sexual health topics, sexuality, and the promotion of sex education programs to somehow address the dilemmas the country continues to face, mainly the prevalence of teenage pregnancies and sexually transmitted diseases. But despite the existence of such orders, programs, and initiatives, why are these issues still occurring at large? Are the programs not enough? Hali, historiata. Adolescents. They are the age group greatly affected by the consequences of their curiosities about sex, sexuality, and reproductive health. Although it's their right to know more about this natural aspect of human life, their fear of being judged and being reprimanded for simply entertaining the topic stops them from knowing, which eventually leaves them in the dark. The youth rarely know how to ask these taboo questions, and their parents, or other people they look up to, or those around them rarely know how to answer or even acknowledge their curiosities. This gap has led to risky experimentations and misconceptions that have led to more harm than good. Harm for the individual and also a growing concern for the country. I'm not open to them and they also don't want me to talk about that. We might be tempted to think that the internet is the best resource for knowledge. I Google na na kay ulo kay pamutan sa upat. My friends, especially katong mga older ones, those who have experience, and of course, ga browse ko sa internet, na mga reliable pa mga source. Other times, instead of asking reliable people, like our parents, or seeing healthcare workers for our concerns, sa atong mga amigo nga naay experience ta, mangutana. Pero, sakto ba nga sa ila taga pangutana? Safe ra ba nga sila atong ginapangutana? Asa mo balay dili gyud mi makastorya kay akong parents magud kay dili gyud sila ganahan magfan bitana. Thankfully, there's one way for us to be properly informed about reproductive health through proper sex ed. Our country has been opening the conversations regarding the taboo topic through the development of age appropriate sex education and the ongoing process of creating adolescent friendly barangay health centers. However, we also have to acknowledge the problem that due to the word sex in sex ed or sexuality education, many still continue to shy away from the topic. Abinila, ang sex ed kay gastoria lang bahin sa paggamit ng condom, pills, ug pakighilawas. Pero, kung masturyahan lang gidug tarong, tagan gidug matabang ang sexual education sa isig katao. Sex education encompasses a wide range of issues relating to human sexuality, including human sexual anatomy sexual reproduction, sexual intercourse, reproductive health, emotional relations, reproductive rights and responsibilities, abstinence, contraception, and other aspects of human sexual behavior. Quality sex ed can not only lead to better prevention in STDs and unwanted pregnancies, this can also teach the importance of boundaries and awareness of possible sexual misconducts, which is why integrating proper sex education would empower adolescents to make well-informed decisions. The youth are more than open to having these conversations. They even wish they can talk about their concerns at home with their parents. We need to listen and address their concerns without judgment. We have to be open and understand that sexuality, sex, and the overall reproductive health is part of human life. And keeping them ignorant by shrugging them off may lead them in the wrong direction. We have to normalize talking about it. We cannot remain ignorant on things that have impact on our overall health and well-being. Comprehensive sex education, along with people willing to listen and acknowledge it without judgment, can be a solution to the problem. Punta, dili na ni kaulaw. Punta, dili na ni lisud storyahan ng butang. Let's start talking about it while it's early. It will probably be a bit awkward, but it is necessary. Taboos and misconceptions, if left as they are, will never change. But you know what? It doesn't always have to be this way. Help us break the stigma today. Ali, Surya, Tanina Bahin. Andam na ba kayo Surya sa Bisulain?